But back to the foot. So this video went viral of you giving a flaming super kick. Yes. You lit your foot on fire, which in itself was already crazy enough that you gave a flaming super kick. But it was the fact that your foot wouldn't go out. It just kept burning. So this is, this is the situation. So the night before, me, Drew Parker, who's probably one of the top deathmatch wrestlers right now. He, he's from England. He moved to Japan to wrestle some of the best deathmatch wrestlers in the world. That's where the best most story-driven death matches are. That's where Jun Kasai is. That's where Takeda is. Uh, Freedom's in big Japan. They run the death match scene over in Japan. So he went over there, and now he lives there. So we've been bringing him in sporadically for GCW, probably once a year. So uh, this match was supposed to happen in January on uh, New Year's Eve, and uh, he didn't want to come over because the COVID restrictions came back. Okay. So he, he sat out. So... We, we delayed the match to Los Angeles, and he's he, one of my favorite dudes. So the night before, I said, you know what? You, you're doing a lot of death matches on this tour. Let's take it easy. Okay. All right? Let's not do a death match. Let's do a Joey Janela hybrid plunder match, which a lot of my matches are. They're basically, I kind of have that New Japan main event flow, but with doors and bullshit, <laughs> with outlaw mud show bullshit. So, within, we're at the Rainbow Room in L.A., West Hollywood, mm -hmm. the famous Rainbow Room. Yep. Start taking a shot of whiskey. One, one shot of whiskey. What? Two shot of whiskey. What? Three shot of whiskey. What? Then I go, Drew, I got an idea. Uh-oh. Let's do 15 minutes of a regular wrestling match, and then all of a sudden, it's like an M. Night Shyamalan twist. <laughs> it all of a sudden turns into a fucking death match. I see dead people. And he was like, all right, let's do it. And then uh, I woke up the next day. I go, fuck. Why did I agree to this? Because right now in my point, in this point in my career, I kind of want to stay away from the death matches. I'm okay. too, I don't want to scar my face up. I got glass still from the last one I did in my arm. Oh, that's what that scar so, is? This is glass trying to come out. I pulled the, tried to pull the last one out with tweezers, but they're like pimples. Eventually it will come through and then you'll have to, Slice it open with no. X-Acto and pull it out. Is that what the big scar is there? That big this, scar kind of looks like the ultimate warrior. This, <laughs> this scar right here is uh, from, that's how the glass got in there. And I didn't know it was in there. Is from that a light deep? tube? From a plate with a pane oh, of okay. glass. Okay. So we agree we're going to do glass, but the day of the show, they couldn't find glass. I said, I was, I was relieved. <laughs> All right, but we got barbed wire. We got thumbtacks. Yeah. We got gussets. Gussets are square metal spiky things things that hold bridges together they're they're pretty dangerous okay i said all right I said all right i'll do it let's do it and then like i came up with this idea i said what if i light my foot on fire and give you a super kick i'm just like playing with ideas he said oh, that sounds cool i said can we get lighter fluid so i talked to this guy rob shit he's like an la guy his name is rob shit that's his wrestling name i said you have a motorcycle. You have you have a vehicle here. Can you go find me lighter fluid? Yeah. Thinking about lighting my foot on fire. <laughs> Within ten minutes, he comes back with some lighter fluid. All right, I guess this is gonna happen. So I go to Brett. I go, Brett. I'm gonna light my foot on fire and give Drew a super kick. He thought I was just bullshitting. <laughs> he didn't think I was actually gonna go through with it. He's like, oh, whatever. You know, whatever. Yeah. So we get out there, and fire spots are usually they go either to the left or, or the right. It's usually rarely perfect. They either don't work and the fire goes out and you look like a complete idiot. Okay. Or the fire is blazing and you nearly die. Uh, I didn't want it to make it the light. I didn't want to make it a shitty well, fire spot. Yeah, so yeah. I when I took the lighter fluid, I've absolutely used probably three quarters of that bottle on my foot. And when we were ready to go, I took that lighter and I lit that foot up and that was blazing. I didn't really feel it at the time. It wasn't bad. I hit it, perfectly executed super kick with the fire. Couldn't have gone any better. But then I'm waiting for the water and the only people that really knew were me, Drew, the ref, and one of the the, the young guys from LA who is helping out with building stuff for the night. 
and uh, Rob Shit. So you didn't think to have a fire extinguisher on hand? I don't. I didn't want a fire extinguisher. Usually, a fire extinguisher. It's kind of pointless. Usually, you put water on the fire and it goes out. Uh, that's what people don't get. The last thing I want is some fucking guy coming, spraying a fire extinguisher at me, yeah. and me breaking out in a rash and, and my eyes swelling up for fucking four days. Okay. That's what happens. Okay. The chemicals in a, a fire extinguisher are, are, are terrible for you. And they're not supposed to spray heat. This is not, this is not, two thousand WWF fire extinguisher. This is a real fire extinguisher. I don't want that sprayed at me. So. Usually a bucket of water will do it. That's what I thought they had, a bucket of water. Well, they were using a little bottle of water. So, yeah, one. it wasn't like this $10 no. bottle of uh, Fiji water I bought at this fucking casino. <laughs> but it was a, a Poland Spring. I don't even think. It was probably a... Uh, like uh, a 500 milliliter. Probably yeah. even shittier brand. Probably store brand fucking bottle of water. Kirkland brand. Yeah, so I, I, they start splashing my foot, and I'm trying to get the shoe off because... I tied the shoe so tight on that I didn't want there to be a chance that I super kicked them and my flaming shoe flew off into the crowd and lit okay. someone on fire because right. that was a famous situation in ECW. That's why people were saying, they're like, ECW would never be dumb enough to do this. No, they were dumber. They almost lit the whole building on fire and they were lighting fans on fire when Cactus Jack, the, the, the video doesn't exist. The evidence was supposedly erased i know somebody has that video somewhere probably in stanford in some vault <laughs> that cactus jack hit terry funk in the back with a flaming chair and the towel f flew off onto terry funk and dreamer and they both caught fire and then they ran into the crowd and then the towel flew into the crowd oh man and then there was supposed to be some kind of crucifixion angle afterwards so they went with still while this flaming rag and terry funk is running around on fire they turn out the lights for this crucifixion angle. So then the fans are freaking out because there's no lights in the ECW arena now and there's a stampede and people are getting trampled and there's fire everywhere. And uh, yeah, that was a disaster. So yes, ECW did dumber shit than I did on that night in LA. But <laughs> I had it tight and so it was hard to get it off. I get it off and then I was like, the shoe's on fire, okay. And then I look and my sock is on fire now. And I go, what the fuck? How did that happen? How is my... So then I start... I start. I, 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 they're pouring water on it, and then I start grabbing it. I start grabbing my foot, trying to put it out with my hands. Adrenaline's running through me. I don't feel the flames. I guess it's just a lighter fluid, the way it burns. And uh, eventually, Rob shit to the rescue came out and threw his leather, his, uh, leather jacket Save on my foot day. and out. But Do you, did you get any burns? You no any burns? burns. It didn't even burn through the sock. 